This is a lightning speed introduction to creative coding with P5JS. First, go to p5js.org, and from the main menu, go to the editor. There will be sample code to get you started. Click the play button to run it. You'll see a gray square on the right side. You can start tweaking numbers to see what happens. If I change the background to zero and rerun it, the background will be black. To get info about all the functions in P5JS, go to the help menu and click on reference. Here you'll find details about anything, including the different shapes we can draw. Shapes like points, lines, rectangles, and circles. You just provide the X and Y coordinates for the different points. For a circle, you provide the coordinates of the center, and then the radius. We can't see the line because it's black. To change the color of a shape that's drawn, use the stroke function and pass it a color. Colors can be passed using simple names like yellow, or RGB hex values like you would see on the web with hashtag FF00FF, or as three separate values between 0 and 255 representing the red, green, and blue values. To fill the inside of a shape, use the fill function. Colors can be passed just like to the stroke function or to the background function. Mouse input is built in and you always have access to the coordinates with the mouse X and mouse Y variables. I'll use the mouse coordinates to position the circle. The setup function only runs once, and the draw function will run over and over. By removing the call to the background function, it won't repaint the background on every frame, so all drawing builds up on the canvas. Random numbers can be generated with the random function. I'll randomize the circle colors and radius. That's a little taste, but barely scratches the surface. To learn more, go to p5js.org and check out the Learn page.